Hello, and here I am back. This is my video response contest entry for Blu-ray Anonymous, whom I champion a lot on this channel. He's hit 500 subs, he's having a little contest, so first, congratulations on 500 subs. I don't have to champion, sh champion you anymore, you've already hit, well, you, I think I have like 20 subs, so, really. You should be championing me, man. Championing me. Um, but yeah, so he's having a little contest. Great prizes. And I mean like really good prizes. Um, there's two of them. There's the Blu-ray for Hannibal Season 1 or Bates Motel Season 1. I haven't seen either of those series yet. Uh, I generally don't watch a television series until it's closer to the end of its run. Because um, I don't like waiting. Um, but... If I had to choose between those two, and which I would if I did win this, I would have to go with probably oh. you know what, I think Hannibal's going to be the more popular um, show and thus go on longer and probably get reduced in price, so it'll probably be the easiest one to buy, so I would go with Bates Motel um, I hear a lot of people, and I know a lot of my friends watch Hannibal, so um, that's obviously getting, uh, I, at least I think, getting better ratings. So Bates Motel, I haven't heard too much about. I mean, no, maybe one or two people who are watching that. So I will go with Bates Motel as my choice of prizes. Um, he's got uh, essentially two questions to answer in this video that I, well, that I have to answer in this video. Uh, first one being is, what is my favorite movie theater experience? Um, yeah, wow. That's a hard one. Um. Let's come back to it. <laughs> uh, second, second question is, a movie that critics love that you didn't and why? And I had to think about this. And I'm going to choose a movie. Not that I I don't like it. I, I enjoy the movie. Um, but I have problems with it. Um, and therefore I don't love it. And yet, it won the Academy Award for Best Costume Design. Best Film of the Year from the National Society of Film Critics. And Best Foreign Film of the Year from the New York uh, Film Critics Circle. National Board of Review Los Angeles Film Critics. So, people love this. Um... The film's by Akira Kurosawa, who I, I love. I love his movies, um, but Ran um, or Ron, however you want to say it. Yeah, I've got some problems with this. Now, costumes are beautiful. Love it. Acting, great. Story is perfect, but it's taken from Shakespeare, so really, it's just a Shakespeare story and sort of turned over so that it's in a Japanese setting and instead of girls it's guys so essentially the the emperor um, uh, hands over his kingdom to his sons rather than I believe it's King Lear that's this you know redone and I believe in King Lear it's his daughters could be wrong but I'm I'm just going by memory, and I haven't... Uh, Shakespeare, that's 20 years ago. Um, so the story is well told. My problem is... is One of the things that makes uh, Kurosawa's film so good is whether it's in a small format or the large format, he does amazing action work. And when he's doing big, grandiose scenes and stuff, it's amazing. Look, it looks so good. But in this film seems like he forgot or maybe he gave it to a second unit or something like that but the action sequences um in a lot of this film especially the you know the ones where you have lots of troops and stuff like that are oh, they're, they're not good um well not good in comparison i mean if it was a low budget film i'd be hey wow they did a really decent job of making you know making it look a little bit bigger than what they had but no this is this is kurosawa man he has you know, like, he'll have a shot of a side of a, of, of a, the wall and some troops coming around it, and then he'll have some, 
you know, troops running. And it's just, instead of being, you know, like a big shot of everything going on, you didn't get that. In one scene, it's like, horses are attacking uh, these troops, and it's just like a stationary camera as these horses ride by, and then you get people talking, blah, 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 and then the horses run back. And it's just like, you didn't show any of what... What? Put a camera on the horse or or something. Like, go with it. Like, it, It's just a lot of the camera decisions in this film I wasn't, I wasn't pleased with. Especially considering the settings and, and the sets and stuff are, are gorgeous. So, yeah. And this may actually be probably my least favorite Kurosawa film. At least that I've seen. I haven't seen all his, his, his movies, obviously. But I've seen a good portion of them. Uh, I own maybe five or six, I think. So, yeah, that'd be my my answer to that one. Um, in terms of getting back to my favorite movie experience. Um, <sighs> Hold on one second, I'm going to look something up. Okay. I think I've come up with one. Um, now, it's funny, I haven't seen this movie since I went to see it in theaters. And the reason why I'm picking it is I had planned, you know, all my friends had already seen the movie, um, raved about it, blah, 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 blah. So, whatever. It wasn't actually playing. Was it playing? No, it wasn't playing at a theater. Or was it? Couldn't have been. Couldn't have been. Yeah, it must have been playing at a theater that wasn't... like. And at this point, I had two theaters that were within five minutes walking distance from me. And it wasn't playing at either of them. I must have, you know, missed it or something. So I was hop I hopped on the subway. And I'm heading down. And I look over. And... There's my buddy. Um, it's a friend from the Toronto film community, and uh, you know we we get to talking. And I'm like, I'm going going to see a movie. He's like, I'm going to see a movie. I'm like, I'm going to see Scott Pilgrim. He's like, I'm going to see Scott Pilgrim. I'm like, I'm going to this theater for this movie show. He's like, I'm going to that theater for this movie show. So we literally, it was so weird that we just you know both neither of us had seen the movie. Uh, we just decided at that point in time we were going to head on the subway, head over to the theater, and check it out. And um, it may have been that it was playing near me, and that was the only theater in the area that was. Um, and I may have been downtown. I don't remember. But either way, we ended up on the subway and uh, completely, you know, not planned, just random occurrence. And we're going to see Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. And uh, we get to the theater. We end up um, sitting down um, near the front of, of, of the main section of the seats. Um, where right in front of it is the um, uh, wheelchair section. So it's basically there's a big carpeted area and uh, where the wheelchairs can pull in. Um, but, you know... Usually there's never anybody there. It happens once in a while, but uh, I'd say 99 times out of 100, I, ne I never see anybody in them. But they have these bars in front of it, so you can put your feet up and stuff. Well, we're sitting there, and we're watching the movie, and both both of us are loving it. Of course, I am dying. Um, I didn't read the comic. I didn't know anything about this movie or what it was about or anything. I just went into it blind knowing all my friends who were fans of it loved it, all my f friends who weren't, didn't know about it, loved it. You know, anybody who I'd, I'd known who went to see it really enjoyed the film. And I, there were moments where I literally fell, like, out of my seat laughing at so hard. Um, and at one point I almost fell through <laughs> the bars. I had my feet up <laughs> on these bars and I fell off my seat and sort of slid through this these bars and... Uh, I was laughing so hard, and uh, honestly, I don't think I've laughed that hard uh, at a movie ever. Not before, not since. Um, 
which is really odd why I don't own this movie. Yeah. So yeah, there are the things to answer in this video response contest entry to Blu-ray Anonymous's 500 subscriber contest giveaway. Um, I would pick Bates Motel as my prize if I win Scott Pilgrim vs. The World trip uh, you know, random out of the blue meeting up with a, a friend without even knowing it and having a laughing hysterical time watching the film would be my best theater experience that I've ever had and the film that I'm not too keen on that everybody else seems to love is Akira Kurosawa's wrong yeah so I will put a link down in the doobly-doo to Blu-ray Anonymous's channel as well as to the contest video Check them out. Uh, lots of fun, but you've heard me say that many times uh, before. Um, but yeah, get on it. Contest. Good prizes. Of course, the more of you that enter, the less likely I am to win. Blu-ray Anonymous sucks. Don't go to his channel. Uh, don't don't enter, enter contests. Contests suck. Nobody likes winning stuff. Frowny face. Anyways, guys, take care. Until the next video.